Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It was such a beautiful night last night. I couldn't resist coming out, looking at the trees, checking out the stars in the night sky. It was just a beautiful day. Today is another nice sunny day and I'm going to be working on this jade. And this is the jade that Scott Winard from Let's Do Bonsai sent to me last year. And as you can see, the tree is doing really well. I'm going to spin the winter jade around so you can see it from all angles. So here is the front coming around to the right hand side, coming around to the back, over to the left hand side, and back to the front. The jade has grown really well since it got the new pot. I'll show you a picture of what it looked like when I got the tree. This is the jade today and it needs a pruning. The jade has grown really well. You can see the new extensions. This branch grows from here all the way up here without any sub branching, without any taper and without any movement. It's just, you know, very straight, all the new growth. And that's typical of all the branches on the tree. So today I want to prune them back, pruning the branches back. And every time you prune one of these branches, it causes subdividing. So you get the one branch that you prune it then divides into two and that branch divides into two eventually and you get very compact and very full growth on the tree. It becomes very dense and that allows you to choose the branches you want to keep and eventually build a nice structure to your tree. So I've got a new branch down low here on the trunk. Um, I'll probably keep it on this one. Most of my jades are styled sort of to look like a baobab and I think this one I'm going to go for a different style. Maybe almost a broom style. I think that would be interesting. My first operation on the jade will be pruning that new growth back to either the first or the second pair of leaves depending on what direction I want the new branches to grow in. At the base of each leaf is a dormant bud so if I were to prune this branch off here I would get a branch growing to the right and a branch going to the left. If I prune the branch off here, I'll get a branch coming to the front and one coming to the back. I think on this particular branch, I do want a branch coming out more to the front to kind of grow it out so it clears the canopy up here. So it creates kind of a full rounded type tree. There's some old leaves here I can pull off they're kind of done. They're old yellowed leaves. And there's a leaf down lower. I'll pull that off too, just to clean up the structure of the tree. This branch divides from one here to two. So I've got to decide where I want this branch to grow now. And I think, I think the same thing. There's a leaf that was on top here and one on the bottom. So I'll prune it back to here, making it quite short like that. I won't remove the leaf on the back there. I'll uh, keep it there to generate a bit of energy for this branch. I'm not going to touch the shoot down here. That's fine. It's got you know a good spot of sunlight to grow there. So I'm going up the trunk now to the main, uh, the thickest part of the tree, this uh, leader here. And I've already pruned this one. It divides into two comes up, divides into two again. So I want to prune these shoots back so I get more subdividing. I think my branches that are coming out here, I think I'll prune it off to here. So I'll get a branch coming out here. And the one up top, I will prune it off to here. Like that. The tree is going to look quite bare when it's all done. All right, so that takes care of this branch. This one, I've got a node way back here. I think I'm going to prune it really far back. 
just leaving a stump there. This one I will prune to, uh, let's see, I think to here. I'll get a vertical kind of branch and one more horizontal. This branch coming up to the front, I don't want anything coming any more forward, so I think I'll prune it back to a stump here. The one up the back. Um, I'll prune it to here. I may not keep all these branches when I step back and look at the design of the tree. I may keep some of them. I'm wondering if this one is still too long. I've got a, a couple of nodes back here. I think I'm going to take it back. It's just too long. This one I'll take back to here. And the one out the back I'll take back to... Um, I'm going to take it back to here. Take that yellow leaf away. Oh, it just fell away. I'm going to take... These leaves are awfully yellow too. I'm just going to take them off. This one out the front here. Okay, so let me take a look at the overall view of the tree now. So my trunk line, it comes up, it's kind of curving to the left-hand side. I've got a division here, an upright section, and one that goes to the back. Um, you know, it's possible I could have this the front of the tree, so it's all coming forward to me. This could become the front of the tree. Any view could become the front of the tree. They all have kind of leaders coming to the front. My feeling is that it's getting a little tall, this whole tree. I'm thinking this is a nice leader here. I could prune this off here and make it a more compact tree. I just think, you know, for this diameter, it kind of continues up. There's, it tapers slightly, but it's not very dramatic. And I think it needs a bit of drama. So I'm going to take off the top of the tree here. And I don't think I'll use my small pruners. I think I'll use the bypass pruners for this. Or actually, I'll use the ratcheting pruners. So here I go. Here I go with the big, big, big cut here. I'll just come in right here, just slightly above this segment line here, and it'll die back to that segment. So here I go, cutting. Big cut coming up here. Like that. Taking the top off. Now this would root as a cutting. It would make a fantastic cutting. I may root that, I'm not sure, probably not, but. So now you can see the tree is much more compact. I think this would have to be the front now right here. Yeah, much more compact. I think the, it's a better height for the width of the trunk. And you know, maybe someday the top will get pruned off and this will become the leader. Who knows? But I think that's some good steps forward for this tree for today. The next step is to keep it uh, keep it in good warmth and light. Uh, I won't water it again until the soil dries out. And by that time, I think it'll have new leaves growing in and it should look quite, quite nice. This tree has been growing all winter in the basement at around 10 degrees Celsius. That's kind of the high in the basement, and sometimes it goes down lower. It's gone down to about 6 degrees Celsius. is about the lowest it's gotten. And the growth hasn't slowed down over the winter at all. They seem to grow just as well at cool temperatures as they do in warmer temperatures. It's one thing I've noticed about the jades. They're not very temperature sensitive. They just, they just keep growing. Here is a look at everything I pruned off the jade today quite a bit so I think I will plant the one cutting it's a nice cutting this one I might as well plant it and get it going as another bonsai and I can always give it away to someone here is a final look at the jade I'll leave it out in the greenhouse here it's getting some nice Sun today I might as well give it a spa day out here after its pruning
Many of the trees in the greenhouse here are beginning to wake up now and they'll start to use a lot more water than they do when they're dormant over the winter. So you really have to watch your watering in spring because once the tree wakes up, it's going to use that water and it could dry out very quickly. So keep an eye on your watering. That is all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>